guys, welcome back to another Wolf Brothers video. As you can see today, my partner in crime is not here due to unfortunate events. I have to do this video on my own. And the memories that we did the videos together were rolling in my head like an old film clip. I'm going to miss him. Yeah, that's why I think adds um, a better texture to the pizza. is a crispy base mm. and a soft uh, um, topping with the, the meat. And the juicy pineapples. Hey, bro, what's going on? Oh, hey, bro, you're here, man. Oh my god. Hey, guys, Freddy Senpai is here to join us. What a fortunate and lucky day it is. Now we can start doing our review videos, bro. Don't you reckon? Yeah, yeah. let's get to it. Let's get to it, guys. Let's go. I'll see you later. Hey guys, uh, the Wolf Brothers are back and we're going to be reviewing today some food we bought from Woolworths and some homemade uh, Korean potato salad. Alrighty, so uh, let's get to it, yeah? Yeah, and um, the Woolworths are uh, garlic bread, which is from the La Fimigilea kitchen, which is garlic sea butter. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's shea butter bread. Yeah, so I don't know what it's called, but we're going to try it out, see what it tastes like. And this is the, all these products is mostly from Woolworths, yeah. apart from the mashed potatoes, right? Yeah, that's right, that's yeah. homemade. And the crab sticks is from Woolworths as well. Alrighty, so let's get to it. Yep. Alright, so we have finally have a home meal. Let's try to taste it out, see what it tastes like. Alright, let's begin. I'm gonna start with the garlic bread. Yeah, man, let's go, bro. Starting up with the garlic bread. You immediately, when you first bite into it, you, you feel the crispy texture, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Very um, country, very country. And the, the bread is special, it's a uh, ciabatta bread. Mm -hmm. As we mentioned uh, in the night, so it's a different type of bread. It's more full and more, um, I don't know how to describe it to you, the edges are more um, satisfying, yeah? Mm. Like it's really crispy. Very crispy. Mm. In terms of the garlic, I think it's a decent proportion of garlic. It's not overpowering. True. And um, the seasoning with the herbs is um, just about right. Yeah, it's just about right. Um, I think this is a a real winner with mm. us. Yeah. Worth the money, man. The price is around five dollars sixty. Really? Yeah. Five dollars sixty hmm? for this garlic bread. Look, tastes better than um, Domino's and um, any other pizza shop. Trust me, it's worth your money. Let's go to the satay sticks. Mm. Right, here we have um, the first one, the peanut um, satay. We are um, frying, put it in a frying pan with these ones, not the oven. We want to try to see the frying pan and the oven, which one is different. So firstly, we want to try it on the oven. This is the oven. Oh, no, 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 I mean no, the no, frying pan. <laughs> Sorry guys. Yeah, this is fried um, chicken. Mm. Mmm, we will source this dishes, bro. Mmm. Wow. The, um, the amount of sauce, uh, salad chicken is, um, again, seasonally, uh, perfectly seasoned, not overpowering. 
And the sausage, um, the peanut sauce has a kick to it, doesn't it? Mmm. Mmm. Quite nice. Quite nice. I'm quite surprised. And it's more meaty than other Thai restaurants with the satay sticks. <laughs> yeah. More meaty. They actually have meat on it. How and, much not, and not skin. How much did we pay for this? Um, 12 bucks for 10 sticks. What's your money, guys? Mmm. Wow. Alright, now off to what's the other stick? Mm. The sweet chili? Oh, nah, sweet, sweet barbecue. Sweet barbecue. Mm -hmm. It's so oily here, man, and greasy. I wonder how to taste when it is that. Alright. The flavoring and the sauce is not um, as good as. Um, I expect it to be. Yeah. Which is a bit disappointment compared to the um, satay sticks. Yeah, definitely. Um, it feels like, yeah, you're right. It feels more oily. Yeah. And um, the flavor um, doesn't really taste much like sweet or chili at all. True. Um, to be honest, um, um, this peanut satay is much more tastier. Mm. And has much more kick to it. This uh, this feels too oily, right? Yeah, too greasy. And they both uh, preserve their fruit. So if you are a health conscious person, these sticks, kebab sticks, are pretty good. All right, up to the um, homemade um, salad, um, Korean salad. It has chicken inside. The added bonus. Breast chicken. Really? Yep, for protein. You add it in? Yep, put breast chicken barbecue. Oh. So this is a full of protein. And to my notice, I think there's a cashew inside as well, guys. Yeah. Did you put it in as well? It is nuts. Ah, I see. For extra protein. Very healthy eating. This is very healthy eating here. Mmm. Oh, and the um, crab sticks. We put it in from Woolworths as well. Yeah. And how much were these again? Four dollars. Four dollars for the crab sticks, guys. Just add it onto your salad, the uh, mashed potatoes with chickens, cashew, homemade. They're homemade. And mayonnaise. Mmm. Mmm. Not right. bad, man. The recipe is not, is not bad, man. That's good. If anyone wants the recipe, just give us a comment below and we'll send it to you. Yeah, we'll send the recipe to you. I'm glad, I really enjoyed it. That's good. I'm, I'm glad you did. You're a really harsh critic. I'm mm. an honest one too. Wow. Garlic bread, satay chicken is the winner today. Yeah, for sure. And the homemade mashed potato, man. But the let down was the freaking um, barbecue, barbecue sweet chili. If you're feeling hungry doing our eating, this is a good thing. We're really success. That's the whole purpose of the video. <laughs> to make you feel hungry. And maybe you can do it, go outside, buy this thing by yourself, in your nearest Woolworth stores. Buy it, cook it yourself. Because this is like, you know. Is Economical. Like, yeah. Um, let's give him a score. So we'll start off with the um, garlic bread. Um, for myself, I'll give it a. Eight out of ten. How many you ten seven? I agree with him. This garlic bread deserves an eight out of ten. Well done. And moving on to the satay peanut chicken sticks, how much would you give that? For the spiciness? No, nah, well the spiciness was not uh, there overpowering. But the flavoring, coating, and the amount of meaty chicken, this satay chicken sticks deserve an eight. Wow. Well done. Um, I'll give the satay chicken a 9 out of 10. Wow! The reason I give that is because I've eaten at many Thai restaurants. Mm. And you don't get much on, on the stick except for mostly skin and sauce. Yeah. But no meat. This was actually meaty and the stick was full. Oh. And the, there was hardly any skin on it. So it was pure meat. Mm. So it's worth every cent. Now, so you reckon it's um, chicken breast? Uh, I think it's Thai. Chicken Thai breast. Thai. Yeah. And then um, lastly, onto the smoky barbecue. Onto the smoky barbecue uh, stick. 
Um, that was a real letdown for me. It was way too oily. Mm. Um, not much in it for flavor. I couldn't really taste much much of a barbecue or, or a sweetness from the chili. Mm. So that will get a 5 out of 10 for me, honestly. 5 out of 10? Yeah. I'll probably give it a 4.5. Alright. Because, like, due to the sweetness, um, it's easy to get, like, you know, burnt. Due to frying. Yeah. You see the um, burn marks. The burn marks, yeah. So, which is not good for your health. Yeah. yeah healthy eating, you know. Yeah. And it's too greasy. Way too Even though it's not preservative, even though it's preservative free, it's too greasy. Way too greasy. No. Lucky there's some mashed potatoes to help uh, <laughs> help digest it. Yeah, a little oil. Mm. Alright, guys, now moving on to the mashed potato, which is a, a Korean uh, salad. Uh, I got this recipe from one of the popular Korean restaurants in the city and I asked them for the recipes but I tweaked it a little bit by adding some um, cooked chicken breasts and some nuts, uh, in particular cashew nuts and almonds and my friend Tan Sama um, added some extra crab sticks to add some seafood freshness and inside the salad you'll find mashed potatoes, a bit of gravy, a bit of uh, mayonnaise um, chicken, of course. Uh, in terms of the veggie side, you find peas, corn, and carrots. And to top it all off, there's some boiled egg in there as well for more protein. Really? Yeah. So it adds more, uh, more protein. I think I just found the boiled egg here. Yeah. Yeah, I found it here. Yeah, because uh, apparently that's the secret to adding more flavor and texture to the dish, making it more uh, creamy. So. Um, Overall, uh, it's not ideally exactly like the Korean uh, salad, but close enough to it, but more healthier because I added less mayonnaise for uh, more healthiness. True. So I'll give it 7 out of 10 overall. Yeah. And surprisingly, due to the lack of mayonnaise in the, um, these mashed potatoes, it makes it actually um, quite decent to eat. And like, you know, it's not overpowering to the mayonnaise flavor, the greasiness and stuff, which everything mixed well together, especially the crab sticks. Adding a little bit of freshness into the um, salad, shape. yeah. yeah. It made it very decent. Yeah. So the way I ate it, I pretty enjoyed it, man. I, I didn't know that you made this dish, bro. Yeah, man. As if you did it, I was like, oh, I'm amazed, man. I'll give it seven point five. Yeah, great. It's pretty good. It's pretty uh, good harsh critic, but yeah. I'm proud of seven point five. I deserve. I I, I, I like <laughs> dish because it's like taking away all the greasiness of the dishes. To be we've, we've tried the dishes. Uh, overall, how would you rate your experience from uh, buying food from Woolworths and making it ourselves? I think it's like decently to do it once a week or twice a week. Yeah. Like, you know, once in a while. Buy stuff at Woolworths and like cook it yourself. Yeah. And this is like one time that we try to do the Woolworths food review, see the money that we spend on it. Is was it worth, worth it? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think tonight was a winner, except for probably one stick, which was the barbecue sweet chili stick. But overall, um, I was quite happy with uh, the outcome of the dishes. Uh, for me, the overall experience was worth it. Uh, I'll say we'll probably do it again, but next time we'll re review a bit uh, of a different type of uh, selection of foods. But for, for today uh, and for tonight, uh, we're gonna be howling out, okay? So, are you ready, mate? Let's go. One, two, Let's three. Let's out. Hey guys, uh, we're going to be reviewing the kebabs, but this time the satay stick, yeah. the satay sticks are going to be uh, in the oven. The and oven version. We've just taken them out of the oven. Okay, I can definitely say the the barbecue uh, sweet chili one is less oily, that's for sure, right? Yeah. Less oily, but um, let's try the... The fat and greasiness already dropped out <laughs> yeah. of the oven. Uh -huh, wow. Actually, wait, let's try this out, the peanut one as well. Guys, you're gonna laugh at this. The, the, <laughs> the one we gave a 5 and a 4 and a half out of 10 actually tastes better in oven. Really? Yes, try it. You can actually taste the flavor now. Mm. But the freaking satay. Peanut satay tastes worse now in the oven. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> you agree, right? You can actually taste the flavor now. Yeah. So guys, we just uh, discovered that peanut satay tastes better when it's in fried in the frying pan. And the um, 
this the barbecue sweet chili uh, sweet sweet barbecue sweet barbecue tastes better when it's in the oven mm, mm, mm. and less greasy and less greasy and you can actually taste the flavor this is weird this is so weird and it actually tastes good <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah. but I still wouldn't I wouldn't give it an eight I'll probably give it like um six and a half now I'm talking comparatively five. speaking yeah yeah and that's it for about the oven review version guys um hope you enjoyed the videos and we might come back with uh, more videos in the future. Alright guys, see ya. Welcome guys to another Wolf Rio Brothers. I'm here all night until tomorrow. Alright, don't make me laugh, man. Let's be quiet. Alright, man, is that food tonight, man? <laughs> Alright, stop laughing. Let me take a drink. Alright, man, forget the food. <laughs> it's almost done, don't worry.